Hey guys, it's Bub here. A few weeks ago, we took a look at Revert SV, which was Windows 11 themed to be Windows 10. However, that was based off of Windows 11 21 H2, which was the first 2021 release of Windows 11. This is RT10. This aims to do the same thing, which is make Windows 11 look as close to Windows 10 as possible, but supposedly claims to be Windows 11 22 H2, so the 2022 release of Windows 11. I'm very excited to see what our differences are, what they look like. Now, keep in mind, RT10 is still in beta, um, so it does have a few glitches in it um, that I'm sure we're going to run across in this episode. Um, but this was recommended by one of you guys in the comments below, so feel free to recommend any operating system in the comments below because chances are it will get featured in a video at some point. So here we are inside of the setup, nothing too special. Um, this, as you can see, this is copyright 2019, so it is using um, a Windows 10 1903 or 1909 uh, installer boot.wim. So, you know, I can just tell that based on the date. And we're not going to activate Windows because we don't need it 2021. Uh, so, yeah, this is the latest version. And we're going to wipe everything on this VM. I was doing some testing prior to this video. And let's go ahead and install this OS and let's see what happens. All right, and here we are. So, as you can see, I actually noticed this when I tested this OS, but this is actually the Windows 10 setup. So they even went as far as to theme the out-of-box experience like Windows 10. Or, well, at least I hope this is Windows 11. They really could have just slapped a Windows 10 ISO on archive.org and called it a day. Um, so I'm going to give them the benefit of the doubt that they actually put in the work to make this look like the Windows 10 out-of-box experience. We're actually going to set this up for an organization because what you can do when you do that is hit domain join and then you can bypass the uh, Microsoft account requirement you can just create a local account because the hopes is that you'll inevitably join it to a domain I mean wow this does look I mean I'm, I'm really hoping this is actually Windows 11 because it would be really embarrassing for me if we get in this is like legitimately at its core Windows 10 so I'm hoping the developers were right all right and now the VM is rebooting I don't think Windows 10 actually does that and it's out of box experience. I'm not sure what that was about. I hope that was intentional. Um, but yeah, I, I'm again, I'm really hoping that this is actually Windows 11 because if it's not, that would be really embarrassing um, if they just uploaded a Windows ISO or a Windows 10 ISO. But, oh, uh, yep, here we go. Here is Windows, this is RV10, sorry, RT10. Let's go ahead and first get VMware tools installed so we can get a better look at this operating system. Um, and then we'll take a look at some of the things on the desktop. So first things first, let's get VMware tools installed just so you can get a better view at what is going on in this video. Um, let's go ahead and get this going. I'm very excited. I mean, we can see by default, I mean, that this definitely is Windows 11 because of this right here. Um, I don't know what just happened to my VMware tools DVD. All right, and here we go. So after this comes back up, perfect here we are inside of rv10 i i said it wrong again rt10 wow so on the desktop we have the recycling bin we have chrome set up which will just download chrome for us we have a script that will fix the start menu and the taskbar if they are not working anyone who's really good at uh, reading batch files can read this but i'm not uh, we then have the readme thank you for downloading run the batch file there'll be a watermark We'll get rid of the watermark in a second. Uh, and here's some credits here. So what this UWD does, as we just read, will get rid of the watermark on the desktop. So if I don't like it saying test mode, I just run this. And it is going to do a little magic and sign us out. But then when we log back in, I mean, even the login screen that just saved it. I mean, now we can see the login screen. It looks exactly like Windows 10. Now the one thing I did notice is that it said that this build was 22,000 so that is 21 H2 so based on what I read this this 21 H2 rather so maybe this isn't 22 H2 and I got lied to. So here is the start menu by default we only have two things pinned we have OneDrive and the Microsoft Store but we actually don't have that much pre-installed by default so we installed Chrome we have calculator camera Cortana file explorer and notice these are all the Windows 11 icons, not the Windows 10 icons. I don't know what that was about, especially File Explorer. Notepad, OneDrive, Paint. The, is this the old Paint? Yep, this is the old Paint. Pretty cool. We then have Windows Ease of Access, Windows Security, 
which does look like the new version, and then Windows Tools. So actually this does not come with a lot on it. Let's take a look at our disk usage because that's something that's always very important to me. We are, wow, we are using 20 gigs. That is a lot more than I was expecting. So what about our CPU and RAM usage? We're using two gigs of RAM and five-ish percent of our CPU. So not bad, but not exactly good. Um, you know, so I actually am curious to know what this is because this is, I think this is 21H2, 22,000.51. This might be one of, or the first RTM version of Windows 11. I think, it, I can't remember what the specific dot version was. But wow, I was, I was really under the impression this was 22H2, so I guess this version isn't that much different than Revert SV, but it's always cool to get a different perspective on di how different developers are doing things um, with their custom Windows ISOs. So that's something pretty cool to take a look at. Now I will say this does not feel as polished as Revert SV, but remember, this one is still in beta. Uh, you can't, we can't really criticize it if it's still in beta, but I just wanted to give it some credit out there. Windows settings looks like the Windows 10 settings as expected. Uh, we can see here it's Windows 10 Pro supposedly uh, with that OS build. Let's see if we can get Windows updates because let's, I'm curious. Uh, automatic updates are off. Set update, it's all group policy things. Um, but supposedly we're uh, up to date. So they must have broken something with Windows update because I know for a fact that this is not fully um, up to date. There's no update history. So that being said, this is a brief look at at RT10. I hope I said it right this time. I did. Um, definitely not as clean as Revert SV, but again, remember this is still in beta. There's still a work in progress. So that being said, thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure to subscribe and comment down. Subscribe. If you liked this video, make sure to drop a like and subscribe if you're new around here, as I do all kinds of different technology videos, including device restorations. With that being said, I'll see you all in the next one.